Everton have confirmed that Illiman and Dai has completed his transfer to the club on a five-year deal. Uh, speaking to the Everton website, and Dai said, uh, Kevin and the manager both spoke to me and made me feel wanted. My Senegal teammate, Adrisha, also played a part and spoke highly of the club and a lot of good things about the place. Uh, this is obviously... You know, been going on since last week. They uh, were waiting for a final bit of paperwork between Marseille and in Dyer's old club, Sheffield United, to be sorted before the uh, deal could be confirmed. That was confirmed today. And like I said, he has signed a five year deal. He said, We have got a little bit of a scout video. If you want to look at that, we're stuck going through all of his numbers and uh, check the in Dyer signs video out as well. But looks to be a good addition to Everton's uh, attack. Obviously, we need more creativity. Uh, he's a good dribbler. Works hard, really press as well. So all of the things Sean Dyke will be looking for and it's good that he is in before the uh, start of pre-season training. That's three players in before pre-season training has begun there. Not happened at Everton for quite some time. Uh, Everton today have also confirmed that Braden Graham has joined the academy side. The 16-year-old Northern Ireland under-19 international uh, made his league debut for Linfield at the age of just 15. Uh, and another player joining the academy is Kieran Loney. He is a 16-year-old, six foot three, and striker who also made his debut at the age of 15 for Partick Thistle. Uh, these are two very, very highly rated strikers. Uh, Everton. I've done a lot of hard work to convince them to join the club. There was a lot of other interest in both of them. And it's good to see us going out and getting those young, talented uh, targets, getting them in and hopefully we can develop them and they can go on to become first-team players for the football club. And Because uh, that's really what we need. We need to build our academy right back up with promise and talents and be able to get the most out of that. Uh, finally, for the academy, under-21 midfielder Harrison Armstrong has signed his first pro contract with the club. The 18-year-old has signed a deal that will run until the end of June 2027. He is one who is very highly rated by Everton Football Club, so good to see him signing his deal as well. Uh, Fabrizio Romano is the latest to seemingly confirm Everton's interest in Hull City winger Jaden Philogene. Uh, that's is running before a story today that said that Ipswich Town have already submitted a bid for Philogene and Hull City defender uh, Jacob Greaves, who has also been linked with a move to Everton. Uh, Everton apparently very interested in Philogene. They He was on their list alongside Jan Cuba Minter. Um, Minter moved to Brighton uh, over the weekend when uh, Dominic calvert Lewins moved to Newcastle United stalled. Minter was coming the other way. Uh, but Everton had turned the, um, their attention to Philogene. But they're going to have to move quickly. If Ipswich have submitted a bid for those two players and Hull City accepted, obviously, uh, they may well move off to Ipswich. So we'll have to wait and see whether Everton are going to try and get in and match the bid for Philogene. And indeed, Greaves, who they've looked at on quite a few occasions. And finally, Everton are interested in 22-year-old Rem Stad Rem midfielder um, Amir Richards, and he also plays for Morocco. Uh, Leicester and Udinese very interested in him, but all clubs at the moment haven't uh, wanted to pay the 10 million euro asking price. He played 28 games last season, starting 14 of them. He scored three goals and registered one assist. A good age again, decent price bracket. Uh, not too expensive and certainly one of you can be developed. Evan could make money on uh, in the future. But again, these are the kind of targets Evan should be looking at. And we are in a new PSI financial year now, so maybe some of the funds will be loosened a little bit while we try to uh, continue with our squad strengthening. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.